We are back for another day of the Who's Who Media Top 100 Countdown, and the number 34 team in the country, we have the Wisconsin Badgers. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co-founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. So far, Greg Gar has made Wisconsin a consistently good team, making the tournament 6 out of 8 years, counting the COVID year they would have made it when they tied for first in the Big Ten. However, one of those years where they didn't make it was this past season. The Badgers got off to a strong start, compiling an 11-2 record, including a 3-0 conference record. However, they struggled to the finish, ending the season with a 9-11 conference record, although they did make a run to NIG semifinals, an encouraging sign going into next year. Guard is much of last year's team back, and the Badgers will look to be on the right side of the tournament this season. One of the major reasons the Badgers are positioned for success is they didn't lose much this offseason. Their only loss of note was wing Jordan Davis, who transferred to Illinois State. One player to Badgers return that should be in for a big role is big man Steven Crowell. This past season, Crowell was a very good defensive rebounder, ranking third in the conference. He also has some ability to stretch the floor, but that's an area he's not always super consistent from. He's also a very good passer for a big man, having a 19.1% assist rate. In the front court with Crowell, Tyler Wall also returns. Wall is a player who did struggle from the field last year, but was much better in 2021-22. He got hurt midway through the season, which was also the same time things really started to go south for the Badgers. If he can stay at 100% and be a high efficiency scorer, him and Crowell will form a high level front court. Wisconsin also retained starting point guard Chucky Hepburn. One area Hepburn really thrived in last season is three point shooting, where he shot over 40% on the season. He's also a decent passer and on-ball defender. If he can elevate his overall game, Wisconsin will be in a much better spot. The Badgers also have rising sophomore Connor Seajan returning. He had a productive freshman season, averaging double-digit points and being named to the All-Big Ten freshman team. He brings instant offense to the team as he led Wisconsin at points per 40 minutes and per 100 possessions due to his ability to score in a variety of ways. The one transfer guard added this season is St. John's wing AJ Storr. He's a true three-level scorer and is especially effective from three-point range where he shot over 40%. Wisconsin hasn't had super exciting offenses recently, but he gives them some real offensive firepower. Another wing who can shoot the ball returning is Max Klesman. He shot over 38% from three-point range and overall was an impactful player who could be very valuable in a six-man role this season. The Badgers also bring back some bench players from last year, who will again be playing roles off the bench. One is Carter Gilmore, who played every game for the team last year. He didn't do much, but is a good offensive rebounder and defender that can get some minutes. Guard Kamari McGee returned, who didn't see a ton of productivity last year, but averaged double digits as a freshman at Green Bay and might be better in year two of Wisconsin. Isaac Lindsay is a returning guard who showed some ability to shoot the ball. Marcus Ilver is an Estonian forward who didn't shoot a great last year, but showed a flash of inside and outside scoring. Chris Hodges, a sophomore forward, also returns. Guard also brings in some impactful pieces in this year's freshman class. Gus Yaldin is a very skilled forward with a good passing vision for his size who could play right away. Nolan Winter is another very skilled forward with the ability to stretch the floor. Guard John Blackwell is a final commit who can score at the rim or from three-point range and has defensive upside. Overall, I like this Wisconsin team. I think they should get back to the tournament, and hopefully having Wall healthy the whole season should lock them in. I also like the young talent guard has assembled on the team, with the season of Stort having three years left, plus a few good members of the freshman class being brought in. I also like how much the batters bring back from last year. Normally, bringing everyone back from a disappointing team isn't a good idea, but due to how good they were playing in the early season, there's definitely lots of potential there. I currently have them sitting 5th in the Big Ten, a very tough league in the middle. Wisconsin fans, comment below your thoughts and where you personally have the Badgers ranked this season. We will be back tomorrow for number 33 team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.